So I'm creating this mini uh, lecture on how to answer application questions for our quiz in consumer behaviour. Well, because this seems to be very hard and I'm getting a lot of questions around um, interpreting uh, answers in this multiple choice section. Um, and I thought it would be helpful to go through in a systematic way how to go about answering these type of questions. So if the button will work. Okay, so here I have created a example question. This is um, based on a video I decided not to give in your last quiz. And the question is, the new captain's reasons for choosing the name Taserface represents A, B, C, D, or E. Um, we only need to look at the first, video, uh, first minute of this video. So I'll just play it and then we'll talk about it. I'm stupid! Ah! It's time! for the Ravagers to rise once again to glory with a new captain, Taser Faye! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, your name is... It's Taser Face? That's right. Do you shoot tasers out of your face? It's metaphorical! <laughs> What? Oh, it is a name what strikes fear into the hearts of anyone what hears it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, whatever you say. You shut up. You're next. Udanta, I have waited a long time to... What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I just keep imagining you waking up in the morning, sir, looking in the mirror, and then all serious. So there we have the new captain um, and Rocket talking about why the name Taserface. So what we need to work out is the reason that the new captain gave represents one of the follow one of the which one of the following. So symbolic interactionism, symbolic self-completion the looking glass self or self image congruence, or if it represents all of these concepts. So the process I recommend to answer these questions basically runs like this. The first thing you need to do is read the question carefully because often how to interpret the answer is given within the question. Identify what about the video or image the question is asking about. So what specifically should I be looking at? The third thing, get information about the possible responses. Fourthly, work out which option best fits, what is shown in the video or image, and finally, choose the right answer, because we all like to be right. So the first step, read the question carefully. So the question again is, the the new captain's reason for choosing the name Taserface represents. So here, and we have our five options. So the conclusion I can draw from this, this question is asking me about self-concept theory because all of A to D all represent different aspects of self-concept and our use of products and brands as symbols for our self-concept. So, in the second step, identify what about the video or image is the question asking about. That's a terrible phrasing. Never mind. So in this case, I need to look at the new captain's reason for choosing the name Taserface. It doesn't ask me about Rocket's response. It doesn't ask whether social, uh, whether in this social um, setting that's shown, whether this person's self-concept is accurate or reinforced. It's simply asking about the reason that the new captain gave. So, and according to the video, the reason he chose the name is 
for it is a, is a name that strikes fear into the hearts of anyone that hears it. So taking this information, I then go look at our possible answers. So we had the four different concepts. So symbolic interactionism is the use of symbols to convey identity. Symbolic self-completion, the exaggerated identity symbols to complete missing or threatened aspects. The looking glass self, the process of imagining the reactions of others towards us. And finally, self-image congruence, when we buy products that match our self-concept. Concluding here is that the information was found, I found this in the slides from uh, our personality and self-concept lecture, or it's also, some of this information can be found in the textbook. So here is where it gets the most difficult. You need to work out which option best fits what is shown in the video or image. And here the key term is best fits. Because when it comes to doing multiple choice questions, here a lot of it requires you not just to match between two bits of information, you also need to distinguish what is a better answer from a not so good answer. So on the left, we have the reason again, the name that strikes fear into the hearts of anyone that hears it. And on the right, we have the various options and their meanings. So if you look at the first one, symbolic interactionism, the use of symbols to convey identity. If you look at the reason given, Taser Face doesn't actually say anything about who he thinks he is. He just, he talks about the fear of others. He doesn't talk about the fact that because he feels like he is a powerful person, he doesn't make any of those kind of statements. So we can say that A is not being shown in this video. And because A is not shown, we can basically discount E at the same time because that's all of the above. So it's now down between B, C and D. So symbolic self-completion, the exaggerated identity symbols to complete missing or threatened aspects of the self. Well, in the, the section of the video that we're shown and you're asked to focus on, it's not, it, he doesn't talk about the fact that uh, Taserface doesn't feel that his identity is threatened or there's something missing. He talks about what he wants to convey to others, and that is fear. So C, the looking glass self, the process of imagining the, the reactions of others towards us. So if you look at the taser face reason, um, the fact that he, you could say that he's imagining that others will experience fear when they hear the name taser face. So the looking glass self is a good fit for the, the reason that taser face has given. And finally, self image congruence is when we buy products that match our self-concept. Well, in this case, Taserface isn't a product that has been bought. So we can, in this case, discount self-image congruence. So based on our analysis of our options versus the reason that Taserface gave, so far we can conclude that the looking glass self C is the best option available. So in this case, I get to choose the right answer, which is the looking glass self. So uh, hopefully this has helped you in terms of the process that is required, or that may be of help for you in doing these application style questions in future, qui qui uh, in future quizzes. So if you have any more questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck and I will see you in class.